Hi there guys, welcome to this new video, Machine Interlude. So this video is just before moving to the simulation stage, I want to revisit all the machine steps, okay? So in this video, we're going to redo the AMET body. We're going to do it fast, hopefully in less than six, seven minutes. Okay, so remember that in the previous videos, we you just need to log in, create your account, then you enter there. But in the previous videos that I want to point out that we were using Firefox. Now I want to show you that also you can use uh, Microsoft Edge or you can Google Chrome, which actually the platform where everything has been developed. But honestly speaking, I have to say that the fastest one so far in terms of the graphical interface and so on, it is uh, Microsoft Edge. But just to let you know that this is kind of independent of the web browser. So you need just to have a decent web browser, internet connection, and it doesn't matter the operating system, you will be able to set up your cases. So remember that we were pre working here in the Amic case. So we are going to create a new app, but also you can create a new project. So as you go into your home here, you can click here, create your new project. In this case, I already have the Amic body. So we go there. I will create my new app. And remember, when we talk about apps, we talk about meshing tool, uh, solver tool, and so on. So, so far we have the meshing, okay, very reliable. And then we have incompressor steady state solvers, okay, and incompressor on steady. And this is the general one. Later we're going to talk about that, but later we're going to add more and more solvers, okay? So let's go here, select measure. You are going to create your app. Uh, Dysot is going to, to give a funny name here. So if you want to change it, you go here, rename, and I will call it Mesh Interlude, okay? I have it there. And now remember the first step is creating the geometry. So I already have my geometry here. I just will drag and drop. I selected two entities. One will be the um, body, the other the box around the body. So later also will do a lot about geometry. For me, it's very important now having a good geometry. I'm one of the few guys that in CFD I like to do everything from scratch. But see that our set is here, our box around the body, and then we have the AMET body. Okay, so basically we want to do exactly the same that we were doing previously. Also, just to point out that here you have the box, you can change the transparency. So let me change it here and see that you have your transparent geometry. And just to point out also about these icons, this means this is the geometry and these are the regions about inside the STL. I don't want to talk about that, but probably you have an idea about that. If you don't have an idea, wait for new videos. Okay, so let's create our geometry. So by the way, here I read these are set that I say would be in my box. But for instance, uh, if I don't want to use that one, I can add a geometrical entity, those ones that are already programmed inside, no snappy X mesh. You put it there and see that you have it here. So in this case, we don't see anything because probably something is small. Let me hide my AMET body and see that you have it there. I will hide also the box and see that you click in a phase and just very easy, you just can change it Okay, I'll make it larger. Okay, so let me bring back here my AMET body. And this, in theory, will be later. Okay, let me make it larger there. My refinement zone, okay? Then the next step is creating the mesh around the body. Okay, so let me bring back the mesh here and see that we have that mesh. And in the same way, you can give the coordinates there. Let me hide the box here. I don't want the box. Or you just can click, click there, move it. Okay, so very easy. In this case, now I'm doing this way, the brutal way. In the previous videos, now we gave the specific coordinates. And there you go. Okay, then click here. So see that if you know the the snappy workflow, you know what we're doing. Okay, so now we have the background mesh, the body, and then 
we can go to the next step, which is this definition of the material point. So see that this is the point, you can move it here, give the coordinates. But what is important that this point here is inside the background mesh outside of the STL. So this means that the mesh is going to be external. Then edge refinement, okay, those edge edges, we need to add them in the geometry, okay? So let me go here. Uh, Okay, and I select there, this one, the ambient body, and let's use this option, okay? Here you can apply and see that these are the edges that are going to be captured. So, see that we're not capturing this one, so let me increase the angle here, and let me put an 170, and voila, see that now we're capturing here, a little bit here. So this is acceptable, apply, save, all and see that now we have it here. So when you see here LC, it means that we're applying also refinement in these geometrical entities. So if I click here, remove, I don't want to apply it there. I just want to apply it there in this one that we just extracted and then zero means just to for that. Just to point out something as well that is you click here, you can select that, those singular entities. So see that we're selecting that or we can select this single one here or this single one here. Okay, so later in another video will show you that, for instance, this one is a single one, but we can also split it in different ones by applying another refinement. So you can try it and you will see that. But I'm not going to show you here. Then we go to the surface refinement. So we have this surface and you choose your refinement. I don't want a refinement here. I do want a refinement here and let me put like to four, okay, so four means curvature. So in these regions where I have more curvature, put more cells, maybe also here, and that's it. Volume refinement, so remember that we created two zones. We have this geometry, the one that we read. So see that we have no refinement, but if you want to add refinement, just click there, and there you go. So I want to delete it, and I want to add the refinement in the geometry entity that I created. So L1 means level one, and that's all. Then boundary layers, I want to add boundary layers, okay, only in the AMET body, so add layers, and let's use these default options, okay, robots actions. But just to point out also that I forgot to add boundary layer in the background mesh. So see that we have a background mesh and I would like to add it also here in the background mesh in the ground in this bottom surface. So how do we do that? You go back to background mesh, you have it here and see that you select, it would be color, but I know that it's lower wall and see that you go down, you change it to wall and add layers and there you go. You have three, let me put five. Okay, just to show you that here we have five here we have three, there is no problem, and that's all. Cell zones, nothing to do here. Later we're going to do a little bit more here, but nothing to do here. And at this point is ready to run. Choose your machine, I will go here for two cores, this one, and that's it. Click run, and at this point it will just crunch some numbers. And let's wait a little bit, so now is launching and spinning the machines and so on. So it's doing its magic. It's nothing, nothing particular. It's just the same open phone, but we have put inside some very robust actions. Okay, this is our own recipe, our own voodoo that we put there. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. So computing everything. So remember that at any stage you click, click there and you will go and you can see what is happening. So now here is running a snappy and you can have the log file. Okay, and you can follow what is happening. So here is just boop, beep, boop, 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 doing some computations. Okay, so it should be something fast, not a big problem. Okay, let me go here. And always you get a diagnostic here, okay? So later also, I'm going to show you how to uh, move here when you get a warning or when you get something, a faulty uh, application or a step. So how to troubleshoot your application. Uh, it's not that difficult. It's like working in the terminal, but here you need to get a little bit familiar with the interface. Okay, so play around with all actions, but it's not that difficult. Okay, so it's running, okay, crunching a lot of numbers. 
and it is should be almost done okay so i see already here the convergence when it comes to the mesh uh, also to point out that here you have advanced settings okay when it comes to meshing so here we're giving you you some default values there are some other values that are hidden so feel free to change it here depending on what you want to do so later i'm going to show you how to do how to restart your mesh okay so remember that you can do stuff like this okay so i'm going to show you that then we have default options for quality here but you can change it at any time and advanced control is you want to save you know when it comes to the boundary layer those options okay so at this point it's done let's see what happened with check mesh so see that we have a quite good check mesh let me go back here and this is our mesh you have all our patches see that okay well no orthogonality mesh 87 okay so this one it should report them but as i mentioned we have some tricks there so now that we have this see that we have everything unloaded and then you click here show results okay and this is it we have our mesh and just to soon here see that we have the three layers that we set or five layers that we want in the ground but let me hide this one here Okay, let me show the card there. And just to point out that is you have used part of on the, doing this stuff that showing one and hiding the other one requires a, a few extra clicks. So see here that how, how easy it is to do that. So see that here we're enforcing refining here in these edges. Okay, see that it's resolving everything well. It's not the best mesh. See here that we put more cells where we have curvature and also when we have you know this large angle and so on so also let me select here the internal mesh here this plane here just to show okay the surface there and select here so basically these are the same filters that you have in part of view but we have you no know, program there here in in Dyson to make it you know friendly to use and see that there you have your boundary layer and nice one sometimes collapse here so we have our own tricks to avoid your those problems but have in mind that this is not the best mesh see that the aspect ratio there is very large see that you have it here as well so as you see very easy to generate a mesh so feel free to play with any case but you can take this geometry and set up your meshes just to get familiar with the interface just to end here here you can get your statistics also you have the name of the patches that when we move to simulation you will be able to change the name and type so far they are fixed also here you have this option here is the option that later in the next videos when we move to the simulations you click here just to run your simulation to choose the new app so what we have here as you see is just an interface to a snappy X mesh. And actually you can see your your dictionaries with the snappy X mesh. So if you click here, view results, see that you can access okay all the text files that has been parameterized and you click case and see that you go to a snappy and this is how everything has been done automatically. All the auctions in the GUI that you click and you select these are that value. See here that has been encoded in these text files and this is all okay but we're giving you here better options than the default ones and also a most robust machine tool and default auctions okay at the end of the day now you can download also the case here download and you can do it locally okay so this is all for this interlude machine video and i hope to see you in the next video so i think it took me more than 10 minutes but Okay, see you next time. Bye.